Hi, you're with Chandeep and Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to speak about one of the recent dashboards that I've made, which actually tracks the spending of my wallet. Now, this dashboard is built on a wallet, which is Paytm and which is one of the most popular digital wallets in India. And I'm going to show you that how did I, you know, kind of build the dashboard. But first, just take a look at uh, the overview of how the dashboard works. Not a complicated dashboard, just one screen here, the overview screen. And then we'll just go on to uh, understanding the data and how did I build it and all that kind of stuff. Let's just take a look. So on the top here, we have the uh, slicer for the year that means if i would like to go back uh, to a particular year and then take a look i can just change the slicer on the right i have another slicer for the month so for the year for the month i can just track my spending i have a key stat on the top so key stats are mentioned here how much is my monthly spend uh, spent last month what has been the change the number of transactions on the right here i have some stats about the orders order spent last month order spent how much has been a change and again the number of orders that i've given in a particular time frame i've also mentioned another slicer here on the left hand side which is my per day benchmark um, you can see that uh, i have picked up a thousand so any transactions that i've spent more than a thousand is going to get highlighted now this is the key stat over here this gives you the breakdown of day by day spending so on 1st of august how much did i spend on the 4th of august how much did i spend and so on and so forth so any transactions which are more than thousand that's the benchmark that i've set uh, it's going to just maybe highlight that and every number which is more than a thousand is going to get highlighted i can also drop it maybe i can relax that um, to 600 or something and you can see that all transactions more than 600 are now highlighted all right everything in green that you see on the left hand side of the line is the transaction spend so there are two ways of spending money in at in the in the wallet uh, which is through transactions you withdraw the money from the bank put it in your digital wallet and then you kind of do transactions from there that's one way of spending it the other way of spending is through the orders which is mentioned on the right hand side purchase something and you directly pay it from the bank and and the money in the wallet is untouched so there are two ways of spending it so transactions and the orders and i've got data for both of them over here what i have is a uh top five places in the month of August where I spent the money. So if I just hover my mouse over that, it just gives me that how much money did I spend on the travel service and stuff like that. All right, here's another table. Uh, obviously, if I'm spending money, I also have to add money to the wallet. So I have dates here um, from where did I add the money and then how much money did I add, right? And on the right hand side, uh, this is the order spend. So um, how much money did I spend on orders is right here and date by date it gives you the bifurcation. Now let's just play around with the dashboard a little bit. So let me just change out the month here and let's see what happens. So if I just go to July as to how much did I spend in July. The interesting part is that if you've been playing around with Power BI, you know that, uh, you know, this cross filters. So if I just click here, this cross filters to everything else. So um, as of now, I've picked up Uber here. And you can see that all the transactions that I did on only Uber are seeing in the calendar right here at the bottom. I can again unfilter that. Also, if you hover your mouse on the top five transactions, what you see is uh, how much money did I spend on Uber this month? How much money did I spend on Uber last month? And is there a change in the spending of the top five? Similarly, for order summary, again, top five. So there's a payment failed here uh, where the payment was failed. And if I click here, it shows me the details of the travel payment that was failed. And then if I click over here, uh, it again shows me the travel details and how much money did I spend on travel. And if I hover my mouse on top of that, you can see that there is a major change. Uh, I spent nearly 50,000 rupees uh, traveling the previous month. This time I just spent 18,000 rupees, which is a 62% change in the travel. All right, so that's what the uh, Paytm dashboard is and quick summary of uh, how the dashboard looks. Hopefully you've understood how to play around with that. Now I'm going to take you back to show you the data as to how the data looks when you get the data from the app. And then from there on, how did I start to build the dashboard? All right, stick around. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching this. Cheers. Bye.